Kathy Sipple here once again. It's March 20th, and we had a very productive uh, CoThrive co-working day today. Uh, with us on the call today, uh, Anne-Marie Marti. She's, I like to call her a spiritual cartoonist, but she's much more than that. Deborah Landry, an artist in Georgia. Dot Kessling from Luxwagon. And Lisa Harris, a wild crafting chef. And so together we kind of put our heads together and looked at some challenges that were being brought. Um, Anne-Marie asked us for feedback on her Pinterest board. I kind of like the tie-dye. Deb Landry said she thought it was a little busy. And so we kind of went through Photoshop, looked at how to tone down the background, looked at some options for how she might uh, do this a little differently. And then I also recommended that she add links for each of her posts so that if somebody was excited by what they saw there, that they would have the opportunity to go right to her shop and, and buy that particular you know, design. So I'm glad you did that already, Emery. That's really cool. And what else? Deb had some really cool ideas with, um, she mentioned Emery has this little easel and maybe making the easel part of her, um, her actual business card that she handed out. So one resource Deb brought us to was easelbusinesscards.com. I had never heard of that. They're fairly expensive, but they look to be basically a regular size business card with a die cut, and it turns your business card into a little mini piece of art. So you could, you know, even create your own by just, you know, printing your business cards with the intention of cutting the little, the little easel. So that was a neat thing. The other idea that Dot gave us, or excuse me, that Deb gave us was cafepress.com. She said they, you know, they can put your image on any any type of uh, thing, and she made it sound so easy. I did this in less than a minute. I made a CoThrive coffee mug. So she said, even if you don't end up, you know, using Cafe Press, you can still put your thing on there, show what it would look like, and then, you know, I I think this would be really cool if you were going to do a crowdfunding campaign. You could show people here's what you're going to get if we make it to this level. You don't have to spend the money you know, up front to go and print the thing and take a picture of it. You can just you know, make the piece. So I think what she meant for Anne Marie is that she could put her Mighty Mirth character on there and you know, as she sold them, she could pretty much like order them or sell or whatever. So a lot of really cool ideas. You never know what you're going to get on a CoThrive co-working and I'd say we, we really encountered a lot of neat ideas today.